Hey guys, it's George. Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be talking about J-Hope's Instagram outfit of the days. J-Hope has this incredible quirky sense of style and watching him put these outfits together on Instagram has just been so great. Like his casual fashion is just chef's kiss and being able to see more of his style outside of airport fashion. Give it to me. Give me more. So I've got the six outfit of the days that J-Hope's uploaded to his Instagram here on my laptop. We're gonna go through, dissect the outfits, talk about the silhouettes, the vibe. I like the fact as well he's been doing like a flat lay and then we get to see it on. So we're gonna be talking about that as well. I'm ready. I'm excited. Just before we get into it, if you want to learn more about my fashion background, I've left all of that information in the description box. So if you want to go read that, it's there at your own leisure. Let's jump into the first look. Our first J-Hope look is from the 3rd of January, 2022. And what I love about this outfit is it's just the perfect casual look. And even though we're coming into March, we're coming into spring, it's still gonna be so cold in so many places. And this type of look is just perfection for cold weather. You wanna be comfy, but you still wanna look cute. So in the flat layers, you can see, we've got this beautiful camel coat, and then underneath we've got the gray sweater and the gray sweatpants. It doesn't look like they're the same tracksuit, but the grays are very similar, so it looks like it. And then we've got that statement trainer adding that pop of color. It it also looks like there's a little hat that's been laid out. And what I find so interesting about these flat lays is that you can never really tell the true silhouette until it's on. And it's exactly the same as when you see like clothes hung up. Something can look incredible on the hanger and you try it on and you're like, oh God. Or something can look absolutely horrendous on the hanger and then you put it on and you look so snatched. So that's what I find really interesting. I'm a nerd, okay. <laughs> what is so incredible about this type of outfit is that You've taken something so incredibly casual and comfy, a tracksuit, the sweater, the track pants. They don't match, but they could. And then he's put this incredibly chic, tailored coat over the top. And it's just such a simple way to dress up such a casual outfit. And the fact that it's that camel color on top of the gray, it keeps the color palette very, very minimal. And then he's added that pop of color with the shoe. It's just incredibly smart. And then the hat as well, it adds to the coziness. It adds to the warmth, but it also adds the chic vibe to the outfit. J-Hope knows, J-Hope's style just absolutely slaps. Like how cozy does J-Hope look in these pictures? The hat, this beautiful tailored coat, and you know that coat is gonna be so warm. His hands in the pockets, and then the comfort of like the sweats underneath of your trainers, the blue skies, like this is the perfect casual spring look. If you have a tracksuit, if you have a long coat, just try this look out of trainers, a pair of sunglasses. It's incredibly casual, incredibly comfy, but you are gonna look and feel so snatched. I urge you to try it. I'm gonna give J-Hope look number one, 10 purple hearts. And I know some of you are gonna be like, George, what the f is literally sweats in a coat, but, but I've worn my gray tracksuit with a big oversized coat, sunglasses and trainers, and you honestly do just feel so incredible. You're so comfy, but you also look so snatched at the same time. And this is just the perfect, honestly, the perfect casual outfit. You might mock me and be like, 10 hearts for this. But just try it. Don't knock it till you've tried it because the color palette, how comfy and cozy you're gonna be. Oh my God. Let's not count the amount of times I said comfy and cozy with this look, but. Moving on to J-Hope look number two. Just before we jump into our second look, we do a sponsor for today's video and I'd like to welcome Fashion Chingu back to the channel. Fashion Chingu is an affordable online store that recreates K-pop and K-drama fashion. That means you guys can recreate your favorite idols outfits on a budget. Fashion Chingu offer a huge variety of clothing collections ranging from BTS, Blackpink, Stray Kids, Twice, Red Velvet, TXT, Esper, and more. They ship worldwide with a few exceptions and offer free shipping on orders over $60. Some of my favorite items have to be Jenny's lilac crop top and cardigan. This is just gonna be fantastic in spring with those wide leg distressed jeans that are a huge trend and sneakers, literally spring outfits sorted. Also Han's black fleece jacket. This is super cute, super cozy. And imagine how sick this is gonna look as part of an all black outfit. 
Of course, we have to include an earring. I feel like I'm going through an, an earring, an earring stage. These curved drop stick earrings. These would look incredible with like a low slick ponytail or a slick bun. Another fave is Rosé's Pastel Green 90 Chanel Vibe Set. This consists of a jacket, a halter top, and a mini A-line skirt. And this is just an impeccable outfit for spring. What's great about this set as well is that you could style it with different pieces in your wardrobe. The top half of this outfit would look incredible with those wide leg distressed jeans and white sneakers. Spring outfit number two, done. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys know I love a cardigan, Hans black and white checkable cardigan. This is just the perfect casual piece. It can be layered so many different ways. I've linked Fashion Chingu's website in the description box as long as the favorites I've just mentioned. So definitely go check them out. And if you see your favorite idols wearing something you absolutely love in the future, Fashion Chingu is the online store you need to visit. Thank you so much to Fashion Chingu for sponsoring today's video. And a massive thank you to all of you guys who use my sponsors. It is you guys who help keep these videos going. J-Hope outfit of the day number two. This is from the 4th of January, 2022. And straight away looking at the flat lay, I'm so intrigued to see this outfit on. That beautiful fluffy bag and then the quilted scarf. It's gonna be two really interesting textures. And then looking at that piece of knit on the floor with the track pants, we aren't really getting to see the full silhouette. And that's what I mean. You can't really tell when it's flat compared to when it's on. So let's look at this outfit on. The first thing I noticed looking at J-Hope in this outfit is how huge this bag is. In the flat lay, this bag does not look this big, but on J-Hope, it is huge. And I love the texture of it. I believe it's a Chanel bag, looking at the shape of it, looking at the strap, I think it is Chanel. And it's a really interesting texture against the rest of the outfit. And it's also a really interesting piece against the rest of the outfit. We've got this beautiful oversized cardigan, orange and black stripes. And I like on the right sleeve, you've got the orange and the black stripe coming through. And then on the left hand sleeve, it is solid black. Girl, it's orange. It's such a simple thing to switch out, but it just adds such an element of design. And then the fact it's been paired with that brown sweatpan that has the logos going down the front. And personally, like brown and orange and black isn't a color combination I would put together, but it worked. It's got this very autumnal vibe to it. And it's also, again, another example of amazing casual fashion. This is so comfy, but I feel like it's the accessories that really amp it up. Take away the bag. We're missing a vital piece of this outfit. The bag is the star of the show. And then I love that quilted scarf in that really, really beautiful light khaki color. And then he's got the beanie in the deeper green. It ties together to create this really autumnal color palette. I'm just obsessed with the bag. The bag is such a vibe. Have you noticed as well, his face mask is khaki? tying in to majority of the accessories. Let me know in the comments actually, are you the kind of person that ties the color of your face mask into the rest of your outfit? Or are you like, it's just a face mask, whatever. Let me know. I'm gonna give our second J-Hope outfit of the day, 8.5 purple hearts. Obsessed with the accessories, love the oversized knit. I just think for me, a black sweatpant would have made it like more sleek, but that just comes down to personal taste. Moving on to J-Hope outfit of the day three. This is from the 6th of January, 2022. And I'm just obsessed with the flat lays. I like the fact he's even laid out the gloves. Like that is extra and I'm here for it. Like talk about outfit planning. You've laid out gloves, black gloves with your outfit. Like that is dedication. Looking at the flat lay, we've got those beautiful, I think they're the Dark Star Rick Owens Converse collaboration, that beautiful wash limb cut jean, a piece of knitwear of a really interesting print. And then we've got this plaid jacket with that Sherlin collar. It's gonna look sick. I mean, I've already seen it. I saved the looks down. It does look sick, come on. Starting with the first picture on the carousel, the first thing I'm gonna say is I really hope this hat is not real fur. I love the shape of this hat. I love the Louis Vuitton monogram in the fur, but I just really hope it's not real fur. We're gonna leave it there. The hat on him looks incredible. J-Hope loves the hat. Looking at these outfit of the days, he loves 
a hat and loves hat him. He looks incredible in hats. Also side note, how snatched does his nose look in these pictures? I swear there's even like a close up shot of his nose. He knows his nose is snatched. He knows. Looking at the jacket, I really love the brown tones. That richer chocolatey brown with the more beige and then white line going through it. It is a really chic tight colour palette and it ties into the hat really perfectly. And then that Sherling collar in this coach kind of style jacket with the zip, it's really cute. The one thing I don't like about this jacket, and there's nothing to do with J-Hope, it's just I don't like the chest pocket. I don't feel like it's needed. And it's the type of pocket as well, that double jetted pocket with the button. It just, to me, it doesn't look right as a chest pocket. And this style of jacket, in my opinion, doesn't need a chest pocket. So it just kind of takes away from the lines of the check. Again, it's just a personal, personal taste thing. It's also f***ing picky, isn't it? But... <laughs> Hi, it's me. <laughs> Looking at this shot here, this is the only shot we have of the full outfit, which is quite disappointing, but we're gonna have to analyze the best that we can. I really like the jacket with the jean. This type of jacket, again, it's very casual. The brown tones, it works really well with this wash of denim. I think my favorite thing for me is the Rick Owens Dark Star Converse collaboration. The fact that this Converse has the square toe, it still has that minimalism that a converse gives an outfit but it's just that point of difference that the square toe gives and we've seen j-hope in this shoe a lot and i love it i love it usually i'm not a fan of converse i'm sure you've all seen me throughout my time on youtube being like Converse, I've never said that about these converse i rate them because they are so different but it's just a change in the shape of the toe it's crazy, isn't it? How you can change the shape of a toe and it's just like completely changes something. Getting deep about a converse, Jesus. Okay. I'm gonna give our third J-Hope outfit of the day nine purple hearts. I love the color palette of this outfit. I love the accessories. Praying that the hat is not real fur. I just don't like the chest pocket in the jacket and I am deducting a point for that and I am deducting a point for the fact, well, half a point each, I guess for the fact that the hat is possibly real fur. Yeah. Moving on to outfit of the day four. J-Hope outfit of the day four. This is from the 14th of January, 2022. And what is so great about this outfit is that we're getting this varsity sportswear style coming through. And I feel like we're seeing this style a lot in men's casual fashion. We saw this type of style all over the treasure Jik Jin MV. And then we've also seen similar varsity styles coming through from Enhypen. So this is definitely gaining popularity again. I remember going to a thrift store and buying a varsity jacket like this when I was 17, 11 years ago. So yeah, this is a trend that I'm definitely seeing coming back in that I've worn. Ew, I feel old. <laughs> Looking at this flat lay though, I really like how this has been styled so far. We're getting the hat, we're getting a scarf, and then we've got this darker wash of jean that looks like a more straight to wide cut. Again, a very popular cut of jean at the moment. When I was wearing this type of look 11 years ago, it was with like skin tight spray on skinny jeans because that was the moment. Whereas now it's not. It's the complete opposite with this straighter, wider cut of jean. And then again, we're adding a pop of colour in of the sneakers. We can see that they've got the blue laces, the black and the white, and then that pink back of the shoe that you'll get slight flashes of when you like get up close. Looking at J-Hope in this outfit, the first thing I notice is the blue patches on the Varsity jacket. I didn't notice them in the flat lay, but it's tying into the laces and that's such a nice touch. And the fact that he's put that together is incredibly impressive. Really tying in those accent colors together is what's gonna make your outfit look so much more considered, so much more thought about. And we're definitely getting that here. Also a really nice thing about this Varsity jacket that it is black with that off-white. So it allows for you to add color into the outfit and you can see the hat is purple and knitted. 
Again, J-Hope loves a hat and hats love J-Hope. He looks so great in hats. And then he's got that beautiful rectangular sunglass. Definitely a popular shape of sunglass at the moment. What I like overall about this outfit is the silhouette. It's incredibly balanced. The jeans have a nice silhouette to them that's straight legged, the right oversizedness. I know that's not a word, but for J-Hope's proportion and the jacket has the same. It's not like a fitted varsity jacket. It's quite boxy and oversized, but putting two pieces that have that perfect oversized fit for your body together, it gives you the silhouette and it looks so great. It works with the sneakers. And again, those blues coming together. I'm gonna give J-Hope outfit of the day number four, nine purple hearts. I really like this outfit. I really like the silhouette. I just think we could have like lost the hat. It's not my favorite hat. He looks good in it, but I feel like we don't need it with the addition of the sunglasses and the scarf. Get that sexy, sexy hair out, J-Hope. Give us like a good hairdo. J-Hope outfit of the day number five. This is a vibe already from the flat way. The neutral tones, the khaki coming through, the design on the jeans tying into the colors of the sneakers. It's really, really interesting. I feel like it goes from like very kind of like neutrals slowly down to a bright color as you go down because he's tying in the colors of the trainers with the jeans. And then he's tying in the color of the bag with the gilet, with the layers underneath. He's really good with colors. Looking at this outfit on, this is just such a serve. This slaps. And again, you'll notice he's tied his face mask into his outfit. It matches the color of his beanie and pretty much the color of the gilet as well. Straight away, 10 purple hearts for this. I think this is potentially my favorite outfit of the day that we've had so far. Mm, like in competition with look one, with like the sweats and the oversized coat. This slaps so hard and what i really like about this is the neutral color palette but it's also quite a lot of natural textures you think we've got the knitted beanie the gilet the layer underneath the trousers cotton it's definitely playing on natural textures and then the bag the fluffiness the piled fabric it really plays off all of the other textures textures and colors are j-hope's things spotted. Everything about this outfit works perfectly from the black fingerless gloves, the black scarf obviously around the neck, the gilet worn open, the neutral tones tying into the beanie, and then how the tones slowly go down to the bright yellow in the sneaker, and then the trousers have those designs and then that ties into the sneaker. This is literally perfection. Again, 10 purple hearts. How could you not? How could you not? Moving on to our final J-Hope outfit of the day. This went up on the 22nd of January, 2022. And looking at the flat lay, what I find interesting is the colors. Straight away, this looks like it has a lot less color than the other outfit of the days that we've seen so far. This is looking a lot more monochromatic, tonal, the greys, the blacks, even the denim, it has this like grayish blue tone to it with the black boot, the black hat. So I'm really interested to see this on. Also the silhouette of this jean, it looks like an incredibly wide leg. So again, really interested to see it on and see how it balances with the jacket and the hoodie. Okay, looking at this picture here at the palace, beautiful person at a beautiful setting in the beautiful outfit, the hat, the hat, it just works with the outfit. This leather bake boy hat, no words. He looks incredible with it in this shot. And the fact it ties into the leather jacket so perfectly. And then the hoodie, the perfect layer. And then what I find really interesting is how you can see that there's that little clip on the pocket of the hoodie where he's got that Louis Vuitton, I don't know whether it's a wallet or like a little leather pouch, but it just adds a really interesting element of design and interest to the look without it being really in your face. It's incredibly subtle and just a nice detail you wouldn't find on a hoodie from like H&M or like an affordable shop. It's 
adding that element of luxury to it. Looking at the black and white shot where J-Hope sat on the bench, what I find really interesting is how that jean is so incredibly wide, but it still works with the top half. And I think it's because he's got the hoodie underneath the big jacket. So it's adding the same amount of volume as the jean. Like we spoke about, I believe it was in look four where he had the oversized kind of varsity jacket that was quite boxy and then the straight leg jean. When the proportions of the oversized pieces balance out, that's when it really, really works. But again, you have to be careful. It is usually easier to wear something like slimmer cut underneath, but he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. And then the fact that the jeans have been rolled back to highlight the boot, I love this. He actually just looks so incredible. Like the little smile of the hat, the hood, like this really like bright sunny winter's day. Like it's melting my heart. <sighs> my bias record, why? Why? Our final J-Hope outfit of the day. I'm gonna give this 10 purple hearts. This look absolutely slaps. He looks insane. J-Hope needs to upload more outfit of the days to his Instagram ASAP. ASAP. I know he's uploaded a lot more pictures of him out and about, but they've not had that outfit tag. They've not had the flat lay. And that's what I find really interesting and unique about these posts. You don't see anyone else doing a flat lay of that outfit, especially with the gloves. That was so good. <laughs> I really enjoyed this. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video too. Please let me know what you think of these outfit of the days in the comments and what one's your favorite. Mine are obviously six, five, and one. I would not be able to rock any of these outfits, maybe the first one, but what I love about J-Hope's style is it's just, it's so unique to him and he wears the shit out of it to put it quite frankly. <laughs> Once again, a massive, massive thank you to Fashion Chingu for sponsoring today's video. I've left all of their links in the description box as well as links to the favorite pieces that I mentioned. So definitely go check them out and don't forget to check them out in the future if you see something one of your favorite idols is wearing. It's the destination to go to. Thank you so much for watching. A massive thank you to everyone who has subscribed. You are the best and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.